Hello, we're up on our local range of hills, the Morvans. Uh, we live about five miles away, so we're always up here. One side of the hills is Worcestershire, the other side is our side, Herefordshire. And uh, yeah, we get up here quite a lot, whatever the weather. It's just a really nice, easy little range of hills to um, get up and about. There's easy access if you don't want to walk too far. And if you want quite a yomp, there's some good routes as well. So yeah, like Lois says, we often get up here after we've been posting our local post offices in Great Malvern. So perfect opportunity, get your parcel sent off, come back up here for a bit of a factory reset, go for a good walk. Last winter we basically came up here every evening with our torches on and it got us through those long dark winter nights. So it's already amazing how much the light has changed. It's now half past four and it's uh, still light so it's fantastic really. So we're just catching the last little bit of the sun going down over the Breckens. So yeah, we, we love to come up here when we can, uh, whatever the weather and like Lois says. And we thought it would be a nice introduction to our new series which is going to be Walk and Whittle. So ideally it's going to incorporate two of our favourite things which is obviously walking and carving and whittling and all sorts of things that you can do with woodwork tools. So join us on our first journey. Just stopping, it's getting a bit chilly now. The sun's completely gone. So I'm gonna get out my old faithful jacket. Now people say about buying handcrafted stuff, it's expensive. I bought this Ventile jacket when I was about 18. And I'll let you do the maths, because maths isn't my uh, forte, but I'm now 30, I'll be 39 in a few weeks time. So yeah, a lot of money at the time, but still going strong. Ventile never wears out. So yeah, really good windproof. So this is still serving me well all those years later. So good bit of kit. This makes my day coming up on the hills, whatever the weather, uh, whether it's light or dark or sunny or rainy, it's just really, really good fun. January and had a really sunny day. Actually got quite warm sort of mid-afternoon but the bits up here that didn't get the sun they're still absolutely frozen. It's such a sharp frost it almost looks like snow. It's just incredible. So we're heading along the Malvern Hills. We started our walk from the witch cutting, which is not spelt how you think it is to be spelt. So it's W-Y-C-H-E, which for the old name for salt. So it was basically the salt cutting where they would bring salt up the hills from Droitwich Spa, where the salt was produced, and up over the hills to down into Lebury and probably onto Gloucester to get onto the boats. So in the distance we can see the highest hill on the Malverns, that's the Worcestershire Beacon, where obviously they'd light the beacon fires that would send messages throughout the UK. So pretty impressive really. And the hill that you can see with the sort of flat top over there and the ridges, that's British Camp, which is an old Iron Age hill fort. And that's sort of where we're heading over that way. We're going to go through those trees. Just down the bottom of the hill here is the village of Colwall. And that's a really nice village uh, that we often walk through. On a Friday evening, the fish and chip van arrives. So we often walk down there on a Friday and get some chips, which is motivation, high motivation. It's calorie free because you've walked, so it's all fine. <laughs> yeah. Coming down into the dark woods, so it's torches on, I'm afraid, Lois. Okay, here we go. And then through the woods, don't slip. So 
So this is a bit of sycamore. This whole patch of woodland was cleared out last autumn, I think it was, by a friend of mine. And some of the wood they couldn't get off the slope because it was so steep. So I messaged him on Facebook and said, can I have some of this wood? And sycamore is one of my favourite woods for friction fire lighting hearths, things like that, bow drill kits, spoons. But if nothing else, we'll see if we can just get something out of this piece of sycamore that's only going to just rot down on the hill and see what we can make when we get back to the workshop. It's too dark really to do any carving on the hill, so yeah, we'll take a bit with back in the Bergen and see what we can make. So I've got my little silky saw. I'm going to try and pick a bit without too many knots. So, off here. Yeah, it should be good. It's been down a while, so it's like spalted, so it should have some nice colouring in it. So we'll see what we can get out of it. That's half the, half the fun, really. You never really know what it's going to be until the wood talks to you. Watch out, Mr. Beetle. Go on, off the path. So we're back in the craft lab, we came down off the hills, it was totally pitch black when we came off, but uh, we brought back our bounty, so we've got our few sycamore logs here, they still smell, still smell of the woods which is what I love about it, and it's got some nice spalting in there, so I'm not sure what we're going to get out of there, I've got a feeling there's a spoon in there somewhere, so we'll see what we can do, but it's lovely and warm now, we've got the fire going, got the kettle on, we've already got our first cup of tea, so can't get it much better than this really. So this is the kind of perfect winter evening. Bit of craft, Lois is sitting down, going through our collection of books. We're doing what we like to do best. So yeah, let's see what we can get out of this. So we finished the spoon from that piece of scrap sycamore that we gathered on our walk on the Malvern Hills. Didn't know what was going to be in that piece of wood until we got back to the craft lab, had a cup of tea, got the fire going. But that's like the perfect end to a perfect day. Nice walk, sitting around the campfire, making shavings, fantastic. So that was our first walk and whittle and we hope that you'll join us on our journey walking around the countryside and seeing what we can produce from bits of wood that we find on our trail.